No matter what your zip code is, no matter what you see out your living room window or from your back porch, you are first and foremost a citizen of a planet and a citizen of an ocean planet. It's not a postcard and it's not just a pretty place to get your feet wet. The ocean is your life support system in a very real direct way. It's as important for us all to take care of it as it's important for us to take care of our own homes and, and look after our families. Hashtag Earth is blue, what better way to say it? People take care of things that they know are important to them or that they've fallen in love with. The first step to engaging folks in fabulous places like the National Marine Sanctuaries is, you know, is get the word out there. The United States has 14 sanctuary sites and NOAA is charged with establishing them and, and running them and, and stewarding them so that they protect and help conserve all the, the critters and the great ocean assets that exist within them. They don't belong to NOAA, they belong to all of the citizens of the United States, just like our parks. The ocean is one of those, one of those places that is the archetype of that combination of power and fragility that struck me when I looked out the window of a space shuttle. We launched on my first flight from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and eight and a half minutes later, we were over England and 200 miles above the planet. When the engines finally cut off, I lifted my gaze and looked over the shoulder of the crew member in front of me and saw out this panoramic set of six windows, this broad arc of the limb of the Earth well, we haven't seen much from this altitude that hasn't been spectacular. It was all blue and white, and it was absolutely stunning. And I, without even thinking about it and totally unable to help myself, I blurted out, wow, look at that. We'll be very proud and we'll be very honored that so many people will get to share. You quickly discover we never should have named this planet Earth. That suggests terrestrial rocks, soil. And most of what you see from orbit is, in fact, the blue. Or if it's not the blue, it's the white that is the water that hasn't yet fallen back into the blue. This program that we're doing here today, Earth is Blue, is a product of the sanctuary's office wanting to be sure you know about those great blue places. Social media gives us a really powerful avenue to do that. You should see that view out there. You know, back, back up. We really can be nimble and showcase a lot of the different aspects, a lot of the different connection points to the sanctuaries that people can take advantage of. One is they are places of really special national or international significance. From a natural resource or an archaeology or a cultural history point of view, can be hugely powerful connection points. The second thing is just setting aside those special places and leaving them in various degrees undisturbed uh, ensures that we have safe zones, if you will, in the ocean where the natural resources of the ocean can continue to flourish even as human population grows and, and the planet changes around it. It's hugely powerful. We stand on the shore, we listen to the roar of the waves. That's part of the drama and power that draws us and attracts us and, and impresses us about the ocean but it can give us a false sense that it is so immense and so powerful that it will always be fine and nothing we could do could ever matter. So the ocean is both hugely powerful and exquisitely life-giving. We truly do live on a blue planet. Help draw others to the opportunity, the obligation, the imperative, but also the fun and the real joy of taking care of the ocean.